tutorial video for how to create an embedded game page within Voces so that you can assign games to your students. So there's two parts. The first part is creating the page that has the game on it, and the second part is assigning that page. So to create the page, you'll go to the Teachers panel here and the Voces editor, the pencil icon, and you're going to decide which chapter you want your game in, and it's important that it's within one of the chapters because it will pull the vocabulary from that chapter. So I'm going to select Chapter 4 and I'm going to click New Group, and I'll name uh, my page, whatever I want it to be called, and click Create, and then from there, I will add page, create a new page, click Add, again, give the page a name, and this is where you'll select uh, Embedded Game here under Activity Type, and you can leave everything else, click Create Page. Now you'll create a new section, and you'll have the choice between match game or flashcard challenge game. You can pick either of those. And then you have a box here where you can type directions to your students. Once you do that, you can click create section. And then you go to add and edit questions. You'll create a new question. And this is where you'll set the settings for your game. So you can have the vocabulary either from the current chapter or all previous chapters. And then you can choose how many cards your students will see. And you can select whether or not you want to have audio as part of the game. Then you'll click Add Game, Save Page, and then you'll close Page Editor, and you'll save your menu. And once you do that, you'll close the editor, refresh your page to refresh your menu, And then when you pull up your menu, you'll see the new page that you've created. And I see it right there at the bottom of chapter four. You'll see that it's currently on teacher only, and that's because whenever you create a page, it automatically stays on teacher only unless you change it. You can leave it um, because when you assign a page to students, it will override the teacher only setting. So now that you've created the page, the next step is assigning it, just like you would assign any other page. We'll go to the assignment tool, create a new assignment, and then find that page within the menu. Here it is right here. You'll select that and then proceed as normal as you would with assigning any other page.